What's up, Cubers? Welcome to the first video of my speed cubing series, the simplest tutorial on finger tricks. All right, now before we begin, I want to stress how important finger tricks are to your speed cubing abilities. It's really difficult to achieve good cubing times, even if you know F2L and OLL and PLL and all that business, if you don't know the proper ways to spin your cube to make it work quickly for you. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick little rundown of all of the uh, most common kind of finger tricks that are useful uh, to helping you solve the cube. And with this video, after you've practiced these tricks, you should be able to solve a regular kind of uh, crusty Rubik's brand Rubik's cube in about a minute or less. Uh, after you, you've learned how to do that, you can feel free to move on to all the different speed cubes and you know learning all the different techniques for speed cubing either on my channel or on other people's channels. So without further ado, let's hop right into these techniques. Okay, so for this move, I call it the trigger finger and what it looks like is this. So you lift it up and you flick it, lift it up, flick it. That's that's what it looks like. And the way you pull this off is uh, you use your right hand. That's what we're going to begin with. You, I'm, I'll also show you the symmetrical case as well. And we'll be lifting up the right and turning the top, right? So we'll, we'll be playing with these two layers, this one on the right and this one on the top. So as you can see, because these are the layers that are going to be moving, this two by two by three block right here is going to be completely untouched. So you can feel free to hold this block with your left hand like this so you don't intrude uh, with these two layers. Same thing on the back, like your fingers should be held onto this block like so, so that these layers can move freely without hitting your left hand, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up the right like this, okay? But as you do, notice that your right hand should be in a position to flick this top layer up. And the way you can do that is when you place your hand, you can uh, hold on to this layer here, like this with your right hand, so without touching this topmost piece, uh, so you hold on to these bottom two layers. Then when you lift it up, you're in a position to just flick with your trigger finger this uh, top layer to the top. Now you can also pull a similar trick where if you need to bring this down and flick the top, that also works. Uh, in that case, you wanna hold on to these two layers like this and put the trigger finger up here so that when you turn it, you can flick the top, okay? Uh, so that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, just grab your cube. You can follow along. So hold on with your left hand, lift it up, flick, lift up, flick, lift up, flick, lift up, flick. Or you can bring down, flick, bring down, flick, bring down, flick. Similarly for the trigger finger, you can do it with your left hand. So you can hold on to this two by two by three block with your right hand and instead lift up, flick, lift up, flick, lift up, flick, lift up and flick. Or like I showed you before, you can bring down, flick, bring down, flick, bring down, flick. Excellent, now we move on to what I call the thumb flick. And again, I'm gonna start with my right hand because I'm right-handed, but you can also do this on the left side as well. Now the thumb flick is for those who don't like flicking with the non-dominant hand. In my case, it's the left hand. I really don't like flicking with this one because my left hand is weak. So the, the way the thumb flick works is, is you do the same thing. You hold the cube here on this two by three block. Uh, then you lift this up, but this time, instead of flicking with your uh, trigger finger, you can flick with your thumb. Right? So, so when you place your hand uh, on this piece, you place your thumb right here such that when you lift it up, you can push this and uh, that lifts it up and spins the top to the right, right? This kind of replaces a lifting up and a flicking motion like this, okay? So uh, I guess if, if you wanna do the standard, you know, left-handed trigger finger, you can do that. But if you are lifting up one side, but flicking the other, uh, the thumb flick is a useful thing. So the reason I like this move so much is that, take a look at this corner here, yellow, blue, and red. Once you learn the thumb flick really well, you can do this. See, it looked like I made a single move, but that yellow, uh, red, blue corner that I had ended up right here, yellow, blue, and red. Right, so, so what I did there in, in slow motion is I just lifted it up and I flicked it. But if you learn to do that really fast, this becomes a super, super fast move, which is why I like it. Same thing on the left. You, you, you can lift this up and, and flick with a thumb, and it's a super fast move uh, for getting those, you know, really quick turns on those uh, bottom layer algorithms. Okay, this next one is the trigger finger enhanced. This is for when you need to lift up the right and then spin the top twice. Now, normally you could just lift up and do the trigger finger twice, right? Which, which is fine. But if you want to shave off that one extra second uh, off of the uh, flicking of this top layer, instead of having to lift up the right, flick it once, and then bring this finger all the way back and flick it again, what you can do is you can lift up the right, flick it with your trigger finger, and then follow through with your middle finger, right? So let me show you a quick example of that. Here, here's what it looks like if I just flick with my trigger finger. Pretty fast, pretty decent, and you can stick with that if you want to. But if you want to speed it up just a little bit, you can do like that. Uh, and that's just like a fraction of a, uh, a second faster because one finger follows the other one. 
And of course, it's the same thing on the left, so you can just lift it up and boom, boom, like so. Uh, now, my, my left-handed tricks are, you know, very slow, so I don't like showing those because uh, they're pretty useless. Uh, but for those of you guys who are left-handed, this is also a nice little useful trick. It also provides a little bit more control, so it's uh, just the enhanced uh, trigger finger for those double uh, top layer moves. All right, and then we come to the fourth uh, trick, the uh, last in the basic trick series, and this is the front flick. Uh, so the, this, this one is pretty simple. There's really nothing to it uh, except for, you know, when, when you're doing the bottom layer across, you know, you have this algorithm that's like bring down the front, lift up the right, spin the top, bring the right down, bring this back and flick the front forward again, right? So you see how we did uh, two front moves first to lift it up and then to bring it down. Well, it, it helps if you learn this quick little flick either with the right hand or the left hand. And that way you can do this algorithm a lot faster. So look, you flick, lift, trigger down and then with the left hand trigger back and then with the thumb you can flick it down so for this I, like i said i prefer the trigger and the thumb on my right hand some people prefer kind of using the left hand uh trigger thumb whatever but for me when i make the front flicks clockwise i do them with my trigger finger and when i want to do them counterclockwise i flick them back with my thumb like this so uh the algorithm that i just showed you uh normally i would show you like this turn the front lift up the right turn the top bring the right down bring this back and bring this down. But with finger tricks, it looks like this. See, a lot faster. Uh, <laughs> so you can really shave off the seconds off of those uh, algorithms if you learn the front flick and all the other ones. Uh, so, so the front flick, you can do right hand front flick or left hand front flick or the thumb flick or the thumb flick. Uh, it really depends where your hand is on the cube at any given time. Uh, so for that, you know, F, R, you know, whatever thing, I prefer to use the thumb. It's a lot faster for me, but you can use whichever one you want. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the final trick right here. It's the front flick and it's really, really quite useful for those very rare cases. All right, this next series of tricks is more for uh, real professional speed cubers. I like to call these the advanced uh, finger tricks. These are the ones that you don't really need for the beginner's method, but uh, might come in useful if uh, you're going into some of the more advanced, uh, you know, algorithms for, you know, F2L and PLL and all that stuff. So the first of these I like to call the ring slide, and that is uh, the same thing as the trigger finger flick, except with your uh, ring finger down here on the bottom layer. So the ring slide, for example, uh, for the trigger finger, we lift up and we spin, right? For the ring slide, we lift up and we flick. Lift up, flick, lift up, flick, lift up, flick in slow motion, lift up and flick. And the way that works is again, we hold on to this top uh, two by two by three thing with our left hand, right? So we've got this layer and this layer to be, you know, freely moving. And then we put our ring finger on this piece that's gonna get flicked and we hold uh, these two layers with our right hand, right? So these two layers with our right hand, this one gets the uh, ring finger and then we lift this up and we flick like so. And clearly you can do the same thing on the left side as well. So you hold on to this two by two by three block with your right hand, you lift up the left side and you flick and you lift it up by grabbing here and putting the uh, ring finger right there on that little corner there, right? So you hold on like so, you hold on to this, you put your ring finger right there and then you lift this up and flick, lift up and flick. Should, should be pretty straightforward. So lift, flick, lift, flick, lift, flick, lift, Flick. Now it looks like I'm doing this super fast because I've had a ton of practice with this stuff. Obviously it's not going to be as intuitive for you guys and at the end of this video I'll show you uh, really quickly how to practice these little moves. But uh, that is the first of the kind of advanced finger tricks. The next finger trick is the one I like to call the back attack. Now this one is just like the front flick uh, except the front flick again we used our uh, trigger finger for. For the back attack we're going to again uh, use our ring finger. And the reason I say again these are advanced is because the ring finger is really difficult to kind of learn uh, to be mobile. You don't really use your ring finger for a lot of things in daily life, I don't think. And so uh, that's why the beginner ones, you know, with the trigger finger and all that stuff are a lot easier to learn than this one. But anyway, uh, for the back attack, what you want to do is you want to hold kind of these two layers of the cube stationary with both of your hands. And then you want to put your uh, ring finger on this back layer here and just flick it down like so. Boom. So we hold the cube like so. And then we put our ring finger back here and we can go... Now you guys can't see that, so I'm going to flip this over so you can see kind of from the other side what it looks like. But here I am holding these two layers with both my hands, right? And then this, this ring finger is going to be flicking this back, like boom, boom, uh, boom. See, I can't even get it all the way. Boom, boom, okay? And you can also do the same thing with your left hand. Boom, 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 boom. Now normally when you're cubing, it looks like this. So you're here on the front and you see boom, 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 boom. See that? Okay, cool. Uh, now you can mesh that uh, together with some other uh, movements. So for example, you can lift up the left and then flick with your right hand. Lift up the left 
and flick with your right hand. Just make sure that when you're lifting it up, you either have a very loose grip so that uh, you can still freely spin this after the uh, side is lifted. So lift up the left and then kind of let go and flick with the right hand. Or if you're so inclined, you can kind of hold it here instead because this is the piece that's gonna get flicked, right? So you can hold it here, lift it up and then flick like so. So lift up and flick and uh, obviously on the other side as well. So over here on the left, we hold with our left hand this two by two by three block. So here's the two by two by three block right here. So we hold it on with our left hand. We put our ring finger right here. And then what we do is we lift up the right side and flick with the left hand, right? So I, I can't really show you that very well, let me. So here I am holding on to this two by two by three with my left hand. I lift this up with my right hand and then with my ring finger back here, I flick it like so. So boom, boom. Boom, you see that? So this is called the back attack. You can either just do it freely or you can do it with uh, the addition of a lift on, on one of the two sides, like so. All right, so this is the final finger trick I'll show you guys. It's the most advanced and it's probably gonna be the least used unless you use very uh, you know advanced PLL and OLL algorithms. Uh, this one's called the middle flick, right? Uh, so this is where we take this middle layer and we flick it down with our index finger, like so or from the, the bottom, we can flick it with our middle finger like so. Now, in a lot of the PLL OLL algorithms, uh, there are times when you will need to flick it uh, once or twice and then you know proceed to do a bunch of other stuff here. Uh, so it's, it's a really nice one to be able to do, uh, even though it's kind of useless, as, as, unless you're using all the super, super advanced algorithms. And hopefully, like I said, you're using this video before you venture into any you know extreme speed cubing uh, algorithms. But it will come in handy once you get to those. So uh, from the top, you can use your trigger finger to just flick it down like this and from the bottom you can use your middle finger and if you need to do two spins you can do uh, kind of how we did the enhanced trigger finger flick where we use both our trigger finger and our uh, middle finger here you can use your ring finger followed by your middle finger for a nice little quick uh, double middle spin so from the bottom it looks like this boom boom right and then from the top where you're regularly holding the cube it looks like boom boom like this so boom boom see that uh, it's, a, it's a very, very quick little double move. So we start with the ring finger and we end up with the middle finger. So again, from the bottom, ring finger, and then followed by the middle finger. And that gives us a nice little double spin on the middle layer if we're trying to flick it up. And then from the top, we can either do this or just follow it up with the middle finger and get a much faster uh, kind of double spin like so. So that, that's it for that final move. Again, you're probably not going to use it, but once you get to those algorithms, you'll be happy that you know this one. All right, so now to wrap this video up and before my voice completely and utterly dies, <laughs> I just want to show you guys a couple of ways to practice some of these finger tricks, especially the important ones like the trigger finger one uh, and the front facing one and the uh, thumb flick. So when you're mixing up your cube uh, for solves, I highly recommend that you just use these tricks all over the cube to give it a nice solid mix. So here, for example, I have a regular Rubik's brand cube, right? Which kind of looks like it sucks. But to mix this up, what I would do is I would lift up and flick, lift up and flick, lift up and flick, just practice on this side a little bit. Then go over here, practice on this side a little bit. Then go over here, practice on this side a little bit. You know, maybe do some of those doubles in there as well. Go over here, practice on this side a little bit. And keep turning it and flicking it and practicing and flicking and turning and practicing and flicking like this. Right. Uh, then once you get, uh, you know, very good with this first one, you can throw in the thumb flick a little bit. So you can just do this. Boom, 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 boom. Right. You can throw some middle flicks in there if you really want to. You can s throw some uh, ring ring flicks in there just for practice. You can do the left hand, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, mixing up your cube is a good time to practice those very elusive finger tricks, especially because when you're first starting out, using finger tricks for actual solving is going to be a little bit challenging. Uh, so to get your fingers used to the actual movements, you should do it while you're uh, mixing it up. And then once you start feeling comfortable, uh, try using it on some of the actual algorithms when you get to the bottom, uh, you know, layer of your cube if you're using beginner's method or, you know, on some of those F2L algorithms or whatever if you're going for the more advanced routes. Anyway, that's it for the finger tricks tutorial. Hopefully this helped some of you guys out. Hopefully you guys are excited to get started on your speed cubing journey. Thank you very much for watching and as always, happy cubing.